Good evening and welcome to the final of Formula Pi Winter Season 2018. And I am joined tonight on the other microphone by Mr. Timothy Freeburn, Head Robot Wrangler. Hello everybody, good evening. My name is Claire Pollard. I will be guiding you through tonight's racing as we are about to go live onto the track uh, to find out who we have lined up tonight. Um, so before I get underway, we'll do a little bit of housekeeping and a little bit of updating people on what's going on. So if you're new to this and your first time watching Formula Pi, you know what's going on. So what we've got tonight is the finals of what's been a really, really hotly contested season. We've had six rounds of really impressive racing. Um, and we've got two finals tonight for you. We've got a B final, which will determine positions 10 to 6 in our leaderboard. And then we have our big final, our A final, which will determine positions 5 through to first position. The top three will be walking away tonight with a beautifully handcrafted, on a laser cutter by me, um, <laughs> trophy uh, to say that they are the best at Formula Pi and they're winning at everything. Um, the rules tonight are trophy. everything. Sorry, a very shiny trophy. They are very shiny. They're very, very beautiful. Um, the rules are a Formula Pi. You get given the code to start with. There's like a base code that everyone starts with that allows the cars to drive around autonomously. Not the best, but it works and it gets you around the track. Um, and what you can do is you take the code, you can change it, and then you send it back to us, and we run the races autonomously. So all of these cars are running by themselves with no intervention from anyone outside of the the robots themselves. Um, there is a light system which will show people when to start and stop. It goes green, red, green, and then everyone sets off on the track. And then they have 10 minutes to complete as many laps as possible. Up on the track, we have Aaron, who sat in his little cubby hole in the corner. You can just see him in the top of the picture. And he watches the robots like a hawk and counts them as they go around the track. So, now I've got all those little messages out of the way, and we all know what's going on. Uh, we can start talking about who is going to be racing tonight. So, first of all, we have our B final, which is for positions 10 to 6, like I said. And we've got some very, very exciting racers lined up for you here, ready to go. So, let's introduce them. First up, on the outside, we've got IQ Audio. This is their third season of Formula Pi now. They managed their best uh, two, a year ago, sorry. Uh, in They got fifth place in the final. They got tenth just before that. And they are also one of our sponsors. So some of the, comp the competitors will be getting prizes from these guys, the top three. Uh, I think getting a, a hat from IQ Audio, so go and check them out. Next up, we have Lambda Q Audio, who you may recognise the name, uh, f who they are the nephew of Lambda P Racing, who is in the big final tonight. They've done superbly well in their first season of uh, Formula Pi. They are the youngest competitor on the track at 11 years old, and they've done fabulously well. So good luck, Lambda Q. Next up, we have another Formula Pi regular. It's Pico Holkenborg, who is also the owner of the amazing commentator spreadsheet, which I look at and use lovingly during the commentary. So I know exactly how everyone's done during the year. I can see everyone's progress, and it's a fabulous reference. So Pico has been absolutely instrumental this year. So good luck, Pico. Uh, next up, second time in Formula Pi for Team Lamillo. Finally made a final this year. Last year wasn't so great for them, but this year they've really upped their performances and they've done superbly well to get this far into this B final. Um, so Lamillo from Sedgefield in the UK. It's a family who do, their kids do Python at school and the dad codes quite a lot as well. So good luck to them. And finally, we have from Randers in Denmark. It's Make Space Randers. Uh, this is again their first season of Formula Pi. They have come from no to medium experience of coding. Um, and again, they've had some brilliant results. They had a couple of wins early on in the season and did very, very well. And they were unlucky not to make the final. They did really well to get this far. So five very, very worthy B finalists tonight, all looking to win and go the distance. So what happens now is the robots have been switched on. They have two minutes to boot up the code as it sits in there and then they wait for the lights. We give everyone two minutes because the base code takes probably about a minute to load up. We give people an extra minute because they might be running a unique code. They might be running something different like Java or they might be running C++ or something that's not the standard Python library. So we give them a little bit of extra time. I believe all of these ones are Python that are on the grid tonight. So I don't Yes, have, they are. They are, yep. Tim has confirmed for me. Um, so we are looking at the Battle of the Pythons tonight to see who might win. So are we ready to go, Tim? We are. Right, so I have to tell Tim to tell Aaron to start the robots. Okay, start light sequence, please. So, it'll be interesting to see who gets into the first corner here. So, we go from green to red to green, and then we are away for this. Let's see how we get on. 
and we're off. That's all five robots away. Brilliant start. And it looks like Make Space Rounders have got an early lead there, getting around the corner first. Closely followed by Pico, makes uh, by uh, Lambda Q as well, and IQ Audio's in the mix. And there is a lot of jostling for position here to make sure they are settled. But everybody seems to be out of the gates all right. Looks like... Looks like the uh, updating lap thing is there. We go. It's updating itself. Just took a little second there. Makes space. Randall's got across the line first. Then Lambda Q. Then IQ Audio. Then Pico. Then Lamillo. That was a busy, busy first lap. At least everyone's got round the first lap. Little tussle there in the first corner from three robots. But it now looks like Randall's and IQ Audio are battling into that last corner, coming across the line. Randall's still holding the lead just from IQ Audio. If you can hear some banging in the background, which I think you might be able to, it's not the robots. Uh, we have a large gym next to us and they do lots of big weightlifting stuff and uh, they throw weights about at this time of night. So if you can hear bangs, it's not the robots, don't worry. They're absolutely fine. Um, everybody looks like they're doing pretty well now. Everybody's got two laps at least on the board and there hasn't been many collisions, which is great. Um, we've had races in the past where there've been huge pileups and we've had no idea who's going to come out and whether robots would still survive it. But it looks like everybody's doing quite well here. But IQ Audio and Make Space Ramblers are having a proper tussle for sixth place here. Oh, big crash there. Randa's getting his elbows out, pushing IQ Audio off the main line. Randa's really making it hard for IQ Audio here to get past. He's making that robot as wide as possible. Uh, Lambda Q, though, is catching up. It looks like they are making a move to come into seventh place. Should be a good move for them, following in their, their uncle's footsteps. Hopefully see them in the final next year. Oh, Lambda Q just getting bashed there by IQ Audio. Getting their fifth lap in. This is really good performance from all five robots here. This is really is anyone's for the taking. I don't think I want to call this one. It's too close. I saw Pico had made some uh, predictions on Twitter earlier on today about who might win. Um, I think, did you back yourself? I can't remember who you backed to win this B final. Um, I can't remember who was on your, on your list of winners. But Randers and Lambda Q now tussling for the front. I think they've overtaken uh, IQ Audio, so that's going to be changing order there. Uh, it looks like Pico might be caught on the last straight, so might have thought stopped. Oh, Lambda Q getting flicked and then heading on the IQ Audio into that corner. That is really harsh for them, but they've both slowed them down a lot, giving Randers a bit of slack to get off into the lead. Pico seems to be stuck on the fence. A little bit of a, a stuck move there. We have had some robots that have managed to be ejected into the gravel this year um, for a few overzealous cornering moves uh, and they've ended up just running around in the gravel because it turns out gravel's not good for image recognition when you're looking for red, blue and green. Gravel's not any of those colours, not that the robots can see anyway, so they just kind of run around aimlessly and bash into things. Um, luckily tonight looks like we're alright and everyone's staying on track and keeping all four wheels on the colours, which was one of my top tips if you came to Raspberry Fields earlier this year and you listened to me talk about Formula 5. One of my top tips. Oh, curse of the commentator. Oh, that was nearly a Pico lifted by uh, Lamillo into the gravel then. That could have been dreadful, uh, but they managed to reverse off that without any trouble. That is tricky. I was, I was hoping that might have resolved itself without any major incidents. Um, oh, pitched up onto two wheels by Lambda Q. That was vicious coming into that corner. Now rolling around sideways and making a horrible racket up there along with Pico. That was a big move there. Really slowed down Lambda Q, giving Lamillo a chance to come back in here if they can get themselves going again. Lambda Q having a good old dance move on the track. There's not a lot you can do about that. And just hope that somebody might bash into you and pitch you back the right way. Well, it's almost as bad as your battery's falling out. That's dreadful. I can hear that banging upstairs. It's quite loud now, Pico, having a bit of a rave upstairs on the track. Make Space Randers now going for the uh, the extra lap above Lamillo here. Oh, Lambda Q nearly getting clipped there by the uh, red light robot of IQ Audio. I forgot to say there are colours underneath the robots, so when they do go upside down, we know who's who. Uh, the red light is IQ Audio, the green light is Lambda Q, the blue light is Pico, the yellow light is Lamillo, and the white light is Make Space Randers. Um, they are slightly difficult to see sometimes. Uh, but at least the, the distinctive green light there of Lambda Q waving around like a, a mini rave in the middle of the track there. Um, but, oh, go on, help him over! Oh, so close! Could have, then Lamillo could have uh, lent a bit of a hand there and pushed him over, but not quite hard enough. That was tough. That was so unlucky not to get the push to be ended up right way up again. Let's see if Lambda Q can get themselves out of this pickle. So, 
We're a little bit at the halfway mark now. Make space round us still in the lead. Now two laps ahead of Limillo. Uh, Lambda Q in third place with 10 laps. IQ Audio seem to have stopped somewhere. I've lost sight of them. Ah, there's a beached robot there. I bet that's IQ Audio stuck up on the, uh, the barriers, but they're in a little bit of an awkward position. Can't quite see where they are. So this could be a chance for Pico if they stop headbanging to get back in on the proceedings. Ooh, Lambda Q. Oh, I thought that was going to be a hit there to get them on their feet. I want to go up there and help them now. I wish we could. I'm not allowed to interfere, though, with the robots once they have set off and they're on their way. This is all we can do. Oh, bad news for Lambda Q. It was going so well. I mean, they were really tussling. So unfortunate. There we go. Yes. Oh, Lamillo, I thought you were going to do it then. Damn, that was so close. Oh, Pico's been accosted by someone in the corner there. I can see that could be Lamillo or Randers. I'm not sure. They've all gone quite quiet now. We seem to have lost a couple of robots, actually. They've all gone off for a drink. Oh, no, there's, Ike, there's Pico, been flicked. Randers are there. I can just see them with the blue light. They are getting on with things quite well. Uh... Tim, have you got any suggestions for what Lambda Q might be able to do to get out of that pickle? Not much he can do except for hope that uh, someone runs into him and uh, pushes him over. So let's just hope that happens. Oh, as Ooh. if by magic. <laughs> oh, so close. It was a, so much pushing going on, but just not enough. So easy to get up on the two wheels and just not enough to get over. Oh, that is such a shame for Lambda Q. Make Space Randall's now really making the most of this. We've got two robots spinning around, unable to work out where to go. Oh, Lamillo have pushed. Yes, and Lambda Q are down. They are down and they are on their way. They are now making grounds up. Can they catch up with seven laps in three minutes? I think we can, maybe. Um, how long? So we've got average lap times about 15 to 17 seconds. If they're on a really, really good hot lap, uh, 15 seconds, let's call it. Four in a minute. Yeah, we could do this. Lambda Q, if everything stays as it is, they could overtake Lamillo if they keep going. If, if they don't put any more laps on the board, this could be good for them. This is brilliant. I'm so glad they finally flipped over. Oh, it was so dreadful watching them dance that long and it was making a horrible noise upstairs as well. That kind of been good for you guys to listen to, as well as me making a horrible noise as well. I mean, you're making that making a horrible noise as well. It's awful. This is busy stuff now. Uh, Lamillo have caught up with Make Space Randers as well. There is peril at the top. Lamillo might take fifth place here from, sorry, sixth place from Randers, who've had it most of the night. I think there is a robot there that has stopped. That could be Randers, upside down there, pointing towards the uh, S's. I think that is Lamillo coming around to take the 20th lap. That's it. They have taken sixth place from Randers. Something has happened to Make Space Randers. What has happened? Why have they stopped? Their batteries look good because the light is on, which means that somebody is home. Uh, there is the, the code is still running. Um, but what's happened? I didn't see a reboot. Oh, we were too busy watching Lambda Q falling over and uh, getting gloriously pushed. We missed what happened with that robot. Minute and a half to go now. Lamillo taking sixth place. Randall in second with 19. Lambda Q now could get four laps in before the end of this and end up coming seventh. Which would be a great result for them, especially after being stuck upside down for half of the time and spinning around on the side this could be really good for them let's see how it goes Ooh, it's busy if you're uh, online now and watching come and join us in the chat we've got a live chat on youtube where i'll answer any questions you've got about formula pi if you're new to this this is the first time you've been watching thank you for joining us we do appreciate it um, we've been running this for four seasons now and it's fairly well grained in now we've got some good racing ahead of us tonight and then one final that we've got left last 50 seconds of this B final let's see how we get on now Lamillo I've got four laps to make space Randers Lambda Q Ooh, get a bit stuck there on the stuck Randers robot easy for me to say it's all coming around Pico's had a bit of a terrible time now getting stuck and just flipping around Lambda Q got 18 laps could they get another lap in here to draw level it's going to be tight to get two laps in before the end of this. They have to be completely smooth. This is really, really tough. God, I'm watching this now without commentating. I should just be talking. I'm not. I'm just watching it because I really want to see them get it. 
that's the 19th lap. I don't think they're going to get another lap in before we call time on this, but that is it. We are done with the first of our finals tonight. So, in reverse order, we have in 10th place Pico Hulkenborg with their best performance in Formula Pi so far. So, congratulations, Pico. Good result. And thank you so much for all of your effort with the spreadsheet all season. It's kept all of us really, really well informed. It's been absolutely brilliant. So, thank you. Uh, in ninth place, sponsors IQ Audio. Go and check out their audio hats and DAX for the Raspberry Pi. They are awesome and amazing and the bestest. Uh, in eighth place, we have Lambda Q with a fantastic comeback after being stuck sideways for so long of that race. Um, in uh, I've lost my counts on my numbers. In seventh place, Make Space Randers, who were leading for most of this and then all of a sudden stopped halfway through. Not quite sure why that is, but it's a real shame as they were doing so well all the way through that. And in sixth place tonight, we have Team Lamillo. They're again, their best showing as well in Formula Pi with a fantastic race, really pushing all the way um, through and saving Lambda Q as well. So bonus points for being friendly and helping other robots. Everyone likes a helpful person. It's good. Tim, anything to add to that? That was an exciting race. It was, uh, that was quite fun. Um, it's It's... It's a bit of a shame when robots are up on two wheels like that, but uh, normally it doesn't last for very long, does it? No, um, it's normally not that long. That's, that was quite a prolonged sideways roll. Triangles on the wheels or something, sort yeah. of like spikes out. The Boudicca spikes. What are they? Boudicca spikes. You know, like the the ch the, the you know famous warrior with the oh, spikes Mad Max sort of, of things. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I was at chariot racing. Yeah, yeah. That's what okay. you need. Spikes. Yeah, think, maybe yeah. maybe we could do something like that. 3D prints and little spikes, stick them on the wheels. They could be like hubcaps, but for auto writing. This is a this is a doable thing, Finley. This is a job for you. <laughs> Quickly, 3D prints all of the spikes to stick on the wheels like hubcaps so the robots can self-write themselves. This is a job for next time. Um, but congrats to everybody in that B final. That was absolutely fabulous. Um, so, as always, we have people to thank because if we weren't for people that helped us along the way. We wouldn't be doing this and messing around on YouTube and broadcasting silly videos with robots racing around a track somewhere in a roof in Cambridgeshire. Um, so I should thank some people first. So thank you to everybody who backed the original Kickstarter that we did. Um, also thank you to all of our sponsors for the season who have helped us out with prizes and all sorts of other lovely things like POSIX who have given us some beautiful GPS positioning equipment that we're using some of the more advanced robots that we're hoping to test soon. They've had a few problems and we've not quite got them running but you'll see them soon so thank you POSIX, go and check out all their stuff. Next up Mod My Pi, selling all of the bits you might need for a Raspberry Pi and more and I will be blogging for them in the next few days with some interesting makes and builds for Halloween so check them out. Um, Electromaker.io, who've got two teams in the final tonight. Uh, go and check out their hardware hacker community and go and make some lovely tutorials for them because they are rad. And as I mentioned before, uh, IQ Audio, lovely audio hats and DAX for the Raspberry Pi. Go and find their website and buy some lovely audio goodness and you'll sound amazing. And finally, Pi Moroni um, from the lovely Sheffield in the north. I've been watching with absolute intrigue uh, their Kill Phil project this week. <laughs> Phil is not dead yet, which is great. Um, they've been building a motorised skateboard um, for use with Phil. And it's been brilliant. I saw Sandy on it as well. Yeah, he nearly died. But it's fine. Everything's good. Go and check out their stuff. They have some of the most beautiful and amazing kits in the Raspberry Pi community. Go and buy stuff from them, please. I'm asking you nicely. Yes, Tim. I, I saw an amazing video of that with a, a nice explosion over the top of it. Did, Did you? you see that one? No. No. Okay. Okay. I need to, to go and look for that. I've Great been uh, a little busy today. Whoever did those graphics, unbelievable. Uh, you need to sort of get and do some of the Formula Pi stuff. Good. Good quality. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did offer to, to possibly help Phil source some Power Rangers gear from my BMXing stuff because, I, you know, you'd look pretty rad on a skateboard looking like you're doing street leash and stuff. It'd be pretty cool. Um, so, I feel like I need a little drum roll now or a little drum machine or something. Uh, we are here. We have made it after however many months um, in, in racing and testing and... Um, making sure that everything is working really, really well. These are the top five teams that have battled so hard to get here. And this year they all did so well, it was actually decided who was going to be in this final with one race to go. They had just gone so far ahead of the rest of the competition, these five robots. Um, 
it was impossible to catch them. So they had they put their feet up for the last race and just used it as testing. Um, but it was amazing to watch them all do so well this year. So really, any one of them could win. And I'd be happy for any one of them to win. I'm being honest. They're all my favourites, um, as everyone is. You'll find out. Um, so I should introduce the final five who are in our A final tonight, competing for the positions five to one. First up on the outside, one of the Electromaker IO teams, it is Chitty Chitty Pie Pie. They've been uh, coding for 80 years of their life. And uh, they claim that their lid was designed because it was any excuse to get John, one of the coders, in a bonnet. I agree, he looks fabulous. Uh, so good luck, Chitty Chitty Pie Pie. They've done amazingly well so far this year, so good luck. Next up, it's Team Yoshi from Furubashi in Chiba, Japan, our only Japanese uh, competitor this year, and he's done absolutely fabulously well to get this far. He's been coding for half a year, uh, and he didn't choose to decorate his lid, which is fine, but he's currently studying Python, so this has really helped him learn a lot about coding, which is absolutely fantastic. So good luck, Team Yoshi. Next up, we have one of the other Electromaker IO teams. It is Team PyHard from Pool in the UK. They've got 20 years of coding and seven days Python experience. So really, with that much Python experience, they've done so well to get this far. Um, they claim their uh, interesting stories are, John once wrestled a shark to save an old lady whilst in Kansas, which is a very interesting fact. Thank you for that. And well done for saving the old lady. <coughs> Next up, Wacky Racer from saint Blanc in France. They're beginners in Python and the Raspberry Pi. This is their second season of Formula Pi. Uh, they didn't do so well last year, but this year they've really stepped it up. They've won most of the heats and rounds that they were in, save for a crash in their last heat that, with Pico Hockenborg that stopped them from winning. And finally, Lambda P from Bern in Switzerland, two-time Formula Pi champion, making their third final on three, three attempts of getting there, which is brilliant. Um, I am so pleased that Lambda P is here again. Can he make it three for three? We just don't know. We're hoping he can. We're kind of hoping that maybe it's somebody else can challenge as well. I'm, this race is just full of all of the amazing uh, things. I have a quick question before we start, Tim Freeburn. Yes. Language is on the grid here, please. All Python? Uh, actually, that's a very good question. Uh, I think... I think is Lambda P running Java or Python? Because uh, in his sorry, little talky, know. in his talky talky, it says. Okay, I tell you what, I can radio up to Aaron. Radio up to Aaron and ask him, please. Oh, That'd be wonderful to find out. Because in Lambda P's uh, raid in, in his little book that he gave uh, me to start with, all the things in about him, Python, uh, or is there it a Java says robot uh, goal is not to use Python or Java. So I'm intrigued to see if this has actually gone C plus plus or completely off, off piste, Fortran, Cobol something really old school Aaron's just answered with he's not sure either <laughs> as he's far not as he's sure aware, either fabulous so we've got at least Python. four pythons <laughs> maybe five pythons but uh, we will find out at the end because that's the library we'll take forward to next season to use an example for people to get started with um, it was Java in the past hopefully we'll find out before the end of the race if but not we are then ready. we're good to go so here we are final Formula Pi 2018 winter season Good luck, everyone. Please, Tim, start the robots. Okay, could you start the light sequence, please? So, green, red, green, and then we're away. Who's going to get to that first corner first to get that all-important straight line? Oh, that was a big pause there. Wait, it was a bit red. And they're off. That is all four, four five robots away. And it looks like Lambda P have got into the corner first, closely followed by Team Yoshi, oh, who spun round and have left them to go off ahead. Wacky Racer now coming behind them. Pie Hard in fourth place there now. But that has left the door open for Lambda P just to get, get away. They've gone. Will that stay that way? Gosh, that is a big old start. Yoshi are keeping up, but that is a really big lead over the other robots already. Big gap. Everybody's got their first lap under the bag. Good. We can all settle down now. Quite a calm start, she says, as three robots pile into each other and cause absolute chaos. That is Pi Hard, Chitty Chitty Pi Pi, Wacky Racer, and Team Yoshi all having a fight, whilst Lambda Pi, uh, Lambda P, sorry, just drives off oblivious as if to say, "What? You guys fight amongst yourselves. I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy winning this thing." He's gone. Oh no, there he goes. He's come back around again. There we go. That's his third lap in. <coughs> Excuse me, cough. Oh, 
Wow. I did not expect Lambda P to get two laps in. We're a minute in and he's already two laps ahead. That was That's a big advantage already. That's going to make it difficult for everybody to catch up. Ooh. Bit of a pitch there. Green bottom light there, I think, is Team Yoshi getting pitched up on the barrier, but they've come down again. Everybody seems to be infighting, and they're just leaving Lambda Pi to get on with things. Oh no, this is this is going to be this is going to be a battle right to the end, isn't it? Oh, between those middle three, they're going to be just locking heads the whole time. Come on, you need to work together to catch up Lambda P now. Pi Hard and Team Yoshi now having a fight. Really setting two in the corners. Pi Hard, you can see, are using avoidance very, very well to try and uh, reverse and then go forward and then reverse again and then go forward, which is a great strategy. Really, really good. Lambda P now three laps ahead of Wacky Racer, who've taken second place. Team Yoshi in third place with four laps. Pi Hard, a little tentative going into that corner, trying to avoid. But I can see that they are using the avoidance code that was developed so handily in the challenge season that we did with uh, the troll bots that were statically positioned around the track, and their robots had to drive around and avoid them. And I have a tickle in my throat at a really inappropriate time. <laughs> Not good. Have a glass of water. I have, have I've been sipping it gently, and it's just... <laughs> Not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, any other questions, hit me up in the chat and I probably won't know the answer, which is how it's gone so far this evening. Um, if you want to follow us on Twitter, we are at FormulaPi underscore. Um, I'm at the Tufty. if you want to follow me and find out about all of the things I do for Mod by Pi and the other engineering things that I do. And Tim is at Bob Lescu if you want to follow him to learn about cars and EV stuff and motor controllers. That's his stuff. Let's see. It's Lambda P. Like autonomous bulldozing tonight, not uh, autonomous racing. Autonomous what? Bulldozing. But it's autonomous sumo <laughs> racing. Sumo. You know I mean, they're just, they're just t like tugging at each other and pushing, trying to push each other out of the way. Um, Wacky Racer seems to be catching up a little bit now on Lambda P. Lambda P has got three laps just in the bag. Uh, it looks like they've, they've just done enough here to keep everything going. Um, save for any big incidents, I can't see people catching this up. This is quite a big gap. And they're now stuck behind Wacky Racer trying to overtake. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing again. Oh, but now they've got stuck on Chitty Chitty Pie Pie, causing some problems now for Lander P, sending them backwards. This could be a big chance for people to catch back up again. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Let's we'll see if they'll get on a bit. Ooh, this is really, this is level the playing field a bit here now. Team Yoshi catching up. Lambda P, they're really now struggling upside down to actually get going in the right direction. Let's see if Wacky Racer can capitalise on this and get some laps back. So Pi Hard inadvertently uh, getting in Lambda P's way and causing them some real trouble. Uh, Feltinissimo in the chat has asked, do the robots have a gyro? No, they don't. They only use the Raspberry Pi camera to work out where to go. Um, this is through image processing using OpenCV in the base library, but people might end up uh, using their own methods for image processing and working out where to go. Um, so there's, yeah, no gyros, no external sensors other than the Raspberry Pi camera, that is it. Now, Wacky Racer have got their laps back, which is brilliant. And it looks like Lambda P are really struggling upside down here. This now has opened the door for Wacky Racers to come back, Team Yoshi to come back, and Pi Hard as well. Um, this was unexpected uh, and definitely not something I thought would happen tonight. Especially with Lambda P taking such a big lead early on. Have Lambda P self righted? I can't see them. They're there, upside down, I think, in the corner. That's Yoshi. Nope, Lambda P are stuck in the S's. So. If Wacky Racer can keep their heels clean here, they've managed to catch up. They've got all of the time in the world now, whilst Lambda P are upside down. It looks like they're really struggling upside down. Another lap in the bag for Lambda P. Oh, this is tense. Four minutes to go. Can Wacky Racer keep up the heat on Lambda P and get past them? Same with Team Yoshi as well, although they are one lap behind. Oh, this is tight. 
can see there's a lot of tussling going on there between all the robots. There's a lot of tussling. Here's Wacky Racer. I think this could be it. Oh, it's close. It's very close. They are now neck and neck. So we are watching the upside down robot there of Lambda P and the Wacky Racer robot, which is kind of the teal one that's just overtaken Lambda P. So it looks like Wacky Racer have got past Lambda P now. This is to take the lead in the Formula Pi final. Oh, the update thing's not, it's not flicked on a lap. There it goes, it has flicked on a lap. I think Aaron was just waiting until he worked out what had come across the line when, but now he's updated it and that is Pi Hard there, just causing more headaches for Lambda P, just piling on the misery. Um, it's not good for them. So, this could be wacky races for the losing now. They've got two laps. Well, they've got a lap in the bag, sorry. Uh, this is going to be down to the wire for the last three laps. Can Lambda P... Lambda P can self right, it's anyone's guess as to who could win. If uh, Wacky Racer can keep going here, they should be alright. So that's Team Yoshi and Chitty Pi Pi having a bit of a set to there in the first corner. This is tense. So this could be, if things keep going the way they're going, this could be the first time the trophy has gone to France. Uh, it could be Wacky Racer who takes the win. Oh, it's tense. So 21 laps now a piece. This looks really level. Oh, Lambda P. Is that Lambda P being self right? I think Lambda P have just been turned over. Ooh. Oh, they're back on the wrong way round. Oh, they got flipped there for just a few seconds. And then that was it. Ooh. Oh, that was so close. I've lost sight of Wacky Racer though. Where are Wacky Racer? Are they just coming around the corner there? They're just avoiding. Oh. God, this must be a nightmare for Aaron to keep track of. I can't even tell who's, who's who now. I've lost, I've lost track here. So Wacky Racer have the uh, yellow bottom light. Let's see if they where they are. I've lost track of everyone, and all of a sudden we've stopped. I just saw them going backwards. So okay, they've just there. gone backwards. <laughs> oh, so now Lambda P have taken the lead. Wacky Racer have got. Oh, this is. Oh goodness, I've, this is. I can't keep track of this. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everyone's everywhere. Now Team Yoshi are in the lead. I, I, this is this has changed the lead. It's changed so many times in this lap. Right, Team Yoshi are now in the lead with 22 laps. Goodness. So Wacky Racer and Team Yoshi are now battling for the top. Lambda P has been the right way round, the wrong way round, and now the right way round, as I can see there. Um, there's somebody else upside down. The red light robot, Chi Chi Pi Pi, is now upside down. Wacky Racer are now pitched on the side. And now the wrong way up. Oh, in the last minute to go, this couldn't be any closer. Three robots pitching themselves in here for the top place, and there, there's a half a lap between them. This is so close. 23 laps for Team Yoshi. Can they hold on just long enough to get this? 48 seconds to go. So close. Upside down robot, yellow light is Wacky Racer now. Land appeared back way, the right way up and have taken second place. But I lost Team Yoshi. Team Yoshi are a lap ahead now. Ooh, this was busy. Lambda P now on 24 laps as well. So, possibly another lap or two squeeze in here. I think the top three are pretty much firm, but my goodness, it couldn't be closer. Looks like Wacky Racer are now struggling because they're upside down. This is another struggling being upside down. Five, four, three. And that is it. We are done with such a busy last. God, I, I didn't know what to say. I was so confused. It was so busy. And we're here. We're done. Well done, Team Yoshi. That was absolutely phenomenal racing all season long. It was so busy, that final. There was so much going on. I don't even know where to start. That could have been anyone's at one point. That could have been absolutely anyone's. So we've got... Let me recap for you and let's go through what happened. In fifth place, we have Chitty Chitty Pi Pi with a great performance all season long and just couldn't quite string it together for the final uh, with 11 laps there in fifth place. In fourth place, with 20 laps close to the top three, really, really close, it's Pi Hard, 20 laps, another one of the Electromaker IO teams. In third place, we've got Wacky Racer with 22 laps. And they've just done so well all year round and they led for the majority of that, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so not to be sniffed at. 
brilliant performance from Wacky Racer, so congratulations. In second place, we have three, uh, two-time Formula Pi champion. I nearly said three then, because that's what I thought was going to happen for the whole race, and it wasn't not to be tonight. It wasn't to be for them. Uh, it's Lambda P in second place with 25 laps. But our winners and the champions of the 2018 winter Formula Pi season, it is Team Yoshi with 26 laps. So the trophy will be winging its way to Chiba in Japan um, for the first time. Japanese winner off the European continent. Yes. That's true. Yeah. It's very exciting. So congratulations. Amazing work. Um, we're done for a season then. We can go on holiday. We can put all the robots in their lovely little warm nests for a few months to rest, going to hibernation for winter, and then we'll be back. There will be a winter season. Please enter. If you fancy having a go at Formula Pi, uh, you are welcome to head to uh, pieborg.org and just look at the Formula Pi button and have a look at entering and find out how to go about entering. It's great fun and you'll get loads of help with learning about autonomous driving and all that sort of jazz. Um, so thank you as well to all of our competitors this year. You've been absolutely brilliant and you've really entertained me. Um, Pie Hard particularly for your amazing testing session where I nearly cried because I thought you were purposefully trying to destroy the robots, but it was actually a tactic to test out the self-starting code, which is brilliant and I loved it. It was the best. Um, so I, I, have, I have to pick a favourite as well, don't I? Ah, oh, yes, you do. Your your uh, it was a favourite avoidance, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I'm going. I, it's favourite avoidance. Uh, oh gosh, we are going to have to ha go back through and have. We are going to have to go back through and pick. So I think I was about to say I have so. I have a favourite, so we, we go with the favourite. <laughs> but I, we'll go back through and we'll work that out. Um, but thank you for joining us. Thank you to our sponsors. Um, keep an eye on the Formula Pi Twitter handle for more details of what's happening. Uh, info at formulapi.com if you want to find anything out or ask us any questions. Um, thank you for being so brilliant in the chat tonight. It's been wonderful having you all there. So thank you very much. And we will see you in a few months time for the next one. And congratulations again to Team Yoshi for taking the win. That was absolutely fantastic. Great effort. So uh, yeah, from all of us here, good night. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>